All right, algebra two, here we go now. Moving into chapter four, four one, quadratic functions and transformations. Okay, our essential question is, what is the vertex form of the quadratic function? And here it is right here, f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Should look real familiar. It, it, it would just look like absolute value if you just change those parentheses to absolute value and took that two out of there, okay? And you're going to see a lot of similarities in the way that uh, the two operate. They, they operate very much the same when it comes to translating your function. Only instead of getting a, a V, you're going to get a U. Okay. Vertex form is right there. What is a parabola? A parabola is what we call the graph of a quadratic function. Okay. And it's a U. You can see right here it's a U. Instead of a V for absolute value, it's a U. The vertex is at the origin in this case. But as far as our equation goes, the hk is our vertex. Just like we did for absolute value, you think opposite in here. So you got a minus, so it's a positive. And then since it's positive here, it's positive here. This right here is the graph of f of x equals x squared. And remember, x or f of x is just another way of writing y. Okay? So that's our basic quadratic function right there. <coughs> the role of the a. Okay, what about A in the equation? It's just like uh, absolute value. Okay, if the A is negative, you're going to reflect. You're going to open down instead of up. If A is bigger than 1, it stretches. It makes it, it's that um, steepness. Okay, it's like a slope. And if A is between 0 and 1, it's a compression. You're flattening out exactly like absolute value. Okay, minimum and maximum points. All right, if your graph is opening up, because your a is positive, then you're going to get a minimum point. That the y coordinate of the vertex is going to be your minimum point. Okay, it's as low as you get. Okay, if a is negative where you open down, then the vertex is the highest point, and the y coordinate of that vertex is going to be your maximum point. Okay, so min and max, it kind of fits. When it's opening down, it's like a mountain. The top is up here, that's your vertex. Translating the function exactly like absolute value, okay? This tells you up, down, steepness, go opposite, right or left from the origin, and then up or down. If it's positive, you go up. If it's negative, go down, okay? So you start from the origin, you translate like absolute value, and your vertex is h, k, okay? So if that was x minus 2, it'd be positive 2 for your h, okay? Nice catch. All right, let's take a look at some examples here. Graph, f of x equals negative 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 3. Okay, because your a is negative, you know you're going to open down. Okay, um, think opposite here, so your vertex is going to be positive 1, 3. And the graph would look just like this, okay? So, you think about from the origin, you're going to go to the right one because it's opposite. You've got a plus 3, you're going to go up 3. There's your 1, 3. I know I'm a negative, so I'm going to open down. And I'll make it a little tighter, a little steeper because of the 2, okay? Exactly like absolute value. And just like absolute value, because I really don't care at this point because there's, we're not going to do anything right now that where we have to know exactly where these other points are at. Uh, we're just going to, if you just get the U going in the right direction, we're good. Okay? Vertex has got to be in the right place. It's got to open down because it's negative. And if you can get that much, you're good. Okay? Going the other way, write the quadratic function in vertex form. Whether you're taking the vertex and a point off the graph, or you're given the vertex and a point, we want to be able to write it into vertex form. Find the equation of that line that goes through those two points. Okay? This is very much like y equals mx plus b, where you had the slope and a point, and you plugged in the xy for the point, you plugged in your slope m, and you found b. For us, when you plug everything in, remember your f of x is just y, it's 4 in this case, equals, it's our a that we don't know. Our x is 9, our uh, h is 3, and we've got a plus 7 for our k. So here we're going to find a, and then we'll write it back in with the a and the h and the k. 
just like y equals mx plus b, and we'll have our equation. So let's solve for a here. Uh, 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 squared is 36, so I got 36 times a plus the 7. Subtract the 7 over. Divide out the 36. Simplify that down. It's negative 1 12th. So there's my a. So my equation, my function in vertex form, put my a in there. I'm going to get x minus my h squared plus my k. There's the equation of the line that goes through the vertex there and through that point. Okay? So graphing, translating, know where the vertex is. It's your maximum or minimum point. The y coordinate is that precisely. Um, and you've got your generic equation right here. It operates exactly like absolute value. You're going to find a lot of similarities with our graphing as you go through here um, in, in this year. Okay? Uh, tomorrow when you get into class, we'll look at examples of this and some application. And uh, this whole chapter kind of centers around all this quadratic stuff. Uh, and remember, it's a quadratic because you have the x squared. Okay? X is squared right there. That's what makes it quadratic. Just like y equals mx plus b, x is to the first power. It's linear. Okay? Absolute value signs give you the v. Okay? So these are some little things that you should be able to look at and say, okay, hey, it's squared. It's got to be a u. All right? We'll get into it tomorrow. See you then. Bye.